Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Speak Black Woman podcast. I am your host today, your guest host, Rashida McKenzie. Um, I am sitting in for Quinn, who is celebrating the life of her aunt. Some of you may have seen uh, the announcement, so make sure that you leave her some well wishes so that she knows that she is with us in um, the comments today. But for those of you who I have not had the pleasure of formally meeting, I am Rashida McKenzie, and I train highly ambitious women like yourselves how to crush your goals in 60 days or less so that you can stop existing and start living at an elite level. So I am so excited to be here today because the topic that we are going to talk about is so fitting for what is happening right now. We are in quarter four and uh, what we're going to do, and just a reminder, so if you um, are gonna leave a comment, make sure that you are, you click the link at the top to look at StreamYard so that I can see your comments and that we can have a conversation during this podcast uh, today. So as I was saying, what we are going to talk about is why women in business should wear a sports bra. There are three reasons why women in business should be wearing a sports bra. Now, some of you are like, hold up. I thought this was about, um, I thought this was about speaking in business and I'm going to show you how the two correlate. But first, I want to know, any of you watching, how many of you guys have had an experience playing a sport? So if you played a sport, I don't care what level it's on, if it's um, in a mural or it goes back to Little League, I want you to drop an emoji in the comments on the sport that you have played or just type it and let me know what sport you play. Hi, Juanita and hi, Robin. Thank you for joining. All right. Okay. So I am still waiting for you guys to drop in the emojis of the sport that you played. I am um, a collegiate athlete. And so why I'm asking you what sport you played is because I recently came across a stat that 94, 94% of women in the highest level of their career, whether it be business or whether it be C-suite, have played a sport. So if you have played a sport in your life, you have a competitive advantage that transfers into business. Now, for those of you that don't have that formal experience and don't have um, any background or don't think you have any background in sport, I truly believe that entrepreneurs and particularly female entrepreneurs are the closest thing to an athlete. Let me tell you why. You are on the front lines of your business every single day. You handle the full court press at home and at work. And it's a combination of, right? Uh, it's a combination of utilizing your mind your body, and your soul all together, right? And we're going to tie those together. So even though you don't have any formal sports experience, if you have played at any level in your life, you have a significant competitive advantage. And we're going to talk about that today. So the next time that you are sitting in a meeting or preparing to make a sale, you understand that you're not just going into it and trying to figure out um, if you are going to step into the opportunity. You're going to come in with a secret weapon, which is your sports bra. And I'm going to, you see, I have mine on today. <laughs> I have mine on today. And I'm going to tell you the three reasons why you should be wearing a sports bra when you sit down to do business, when you go to um, make a sale, when you step up to have a conversation 
or in general when it comes to something in your business that you are scared to do Juanita I see that you said that you played um, I can't tell what that, what that emoji is it basketball you're a basketball player I can't I, I see that you played uh, basketball so what we are going to um, the reason why you want to have a sports bra on is because by the end of this talk, I want you to recognize. All right. Yes, I, I got it. Thank you. I want you to recognize that a sports bra is basically your your battle cry. Right. Because a lot of women are in business. However, if you are not making a consistent revenue, if you are not uh performing the way that you want to in business then something has to change right we have to make sure that uh we start to view success as a sport so that is the number one reason the number one why you should be wearing your i'm sorry i'm a little distracted my my um <laughs> my mom is trying to to get in so I'm just want, want to make sure that they get in. Give me one second. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. So um, the number one, the number one reason why you want to be wearing a sports bra when you go when you sit down at a meeting when you sit down um at a to to make a sale is because success is a sport and a lot of us have a businesses but the question is are you doing what it takes to win in business and what i've noticed is that a lot of us as entrepreneurs are willing to get in the game but then once we're in the game we tend to sit on the sidelines and wait for somebody to either make it happen for us or give us permission to really go out there and play so what happens is is that we are afraid of criticism and that is what keeps keeps us on the sideline when i was playing um last year i was invited to play a intramural not an intramural a charity basketball game and i was so nervous about playing this charity basketball game because i hadn't played basketball or sports in i don't six six seven years since i left college and so the first time i attempted to play i went out there and i had a couple of good games things were going really well i was um scoring and so i convinced my husband to come and see me play and uh in that game i went up for a layup and i pulled my hamstring y'all i pulled my hamstring and so <laughs> I was super embarrassed. I had to get carried off the court. Like it was an emergency situation. I had to get carried off the court and put in the car and I wasn't able to finish competing in the game. And so that kind of jaded my, that jaded my uh, willingness to want to get back in the game and play. And so when I was asked to play in this charity basketball game, I was like, uh, I kind of started thinking about, what happened last time and so i thought about it and i decided you know what i'm going to play but the day of the game came and i had to really give myself a pep talk about forgetting everything else that had happened and going out there to play so what i told myself was is this is just going to be for fun i'm gonna I'm going to just get out there and play for fun. But if any of you have played a sport, you know that once you get out there, nothing is for fun. All bets are off. So I went out there and I played and I noticed at first that I was very timid. I was very timid and I was afraid of really putting myself out there because there was an audience watching i hadn't played in forever and i was wondering if i was going to get hurt again and so something happened and kicked kicked on inside of me where i realized that what you have to develop 
is what I call a killer instinct, right? It doesn't matter who's watching, who's looking. You have to learn how to love to win and not be afraid to lose. And so most of the time we go into our business situations afraid that whatever happened to us in the past will repeat itself and happen again. Or we are afraid that we will fail. However, wearing your sports bra when you show up is a reminder that wins and losses are a part of the process. And that sometimes when you put yourself out there, you'll get a standing ovation and people will clap and cheer for you. And other times when you put yourself out there, people will, they won't. People will, people will boo you. <laughs> And you have to be willing to accept the feedback either way, because there is nobody in a leadership position or that has put themselves out there in a big way that doesn't have both fans and critics, right? Shannon says, so true. Win and wins and losses are a part of the process. Absolutely. So when you um when you are in that when you are wearing your sports bra again it's a reminder that that sometimes it's not going to go the way that you want it to go we think that when we show up and just by showing up and just by saying yes to having a business that automatically things will happen but it's all of the other things that get in the way that separates us from the percentage of women that tend to do well, that 94% that I talked about, and the the ones that are just sitting on the sidelines hoping and wishing and praying to win. So one of the things that I love about um, what Serena and Venus's dad did is that when they would, when he would train them to play tennis, he would put them on uh, the, the tennis courts and have people drive by and shout out things to them so that they could learn how to deal with distractions. Because a lot of us in business are operating in what I call our dog mind. And when you're operating in your dog mind, any, uh, any opportunity or anything that comes your way, you are chasing and going after. But if I'm holding, so if I'm holding this and this is a bone and I throw it to the right, what is a dog going to do? Go to the right. And if I toss it to the left, he's going to go that way. He's going to go whichever way I throw the bone. And so what happens in our business is that we are operating in our dog mind and we're so distracted by what everybody else is doing. And when you step on the court, Yes, Jen, you got to go after it. When you step on the when you step on the court, when you step in the arena, you have to be willing to operate in what I call your lion mind. That means it doesn't matter who's sitting in the crowd or what people have to say. You are operating at a level where if you're a lion and you see this same bone and I toss it to the right, what is a lion going to do? Put in the comments, what is a lion going to do? A lion is going to stay right where it's at because it sees that there's a bigger bag of bones right in front of it, right? The, the lion is, is going to be so focused on what's happening in front of it that it's not worried about what other people are doing. So, so the second reason why... We need to wear our sports bra as business women is because we need to learn how to value function over frill. Function over frill. What does that mean? That means that a lot of times because we are so distracted by what other people are saying, what other people are thinking about our business, that we tend to get caught up in making sure that the business looks good on the outside, but it doesn't feel good on the inside. So what do I mean by that? We will learn how to um, create great social media. We'll learn, we'll take all of these classes. 
we'll do all of the things except for the meat and potatoes that is required for us to succeed. And so oftentimes we don't take the time, like we just jump in, but we don't take the time to create and lay the foundation that is going to lead us to success. So one of the things that we have to learn how to do again is train our mind because our mind, just like anything, just like any other exercise you have to do, right? Is, is a muscle that you have to, that you have to learn how to develop. So when we're talking about function over frill, let me ask you this. Have you taken the time to lay the foundation and build a business that functions well for you, that works for the way that you live your life, that works for the way that you want to show up as a mom, that works for the way that you want to show up as an entrepreneur versus making it look good on the outside so that people believe that you're doing well in business? but you're really not. So, so that is function over, valuing function over um, frill. So, I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second. I'm having a bit of a um, mom life, man. <laughs> Work with me. Mom life. <laughs> I let uh, my mom is here so that I can participate in these podcasts and do these things today. And um, apparently she... They went to the park and locked themselves out. So now that now she's trying to figure out how to get in. So let me buzz her in so that we can get back to our conversation. Sorry about that. I see Shannon, you're with me. You're like, listen, it happens. Okay. Okay, hopefully that does the trick. All right, guys, so we are on. So number one, we talked about the, the three reasons why women in business should be wearing a sports bra when you go to battle, right? Business is a battle. Business is a highly competitive sport. And we addressed that in number one, business and success is a sport. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to win in business. And a lot of times we say that we want to win in business, but we're not willing to do whatever it takes. So just as a recap, what we talked about is that I read a statistic that 94, 94% of women who operate at the highest level of their career or their business has played a sport. And so in that report, it talked about all of the things that we can attribute to that success, right? Them being resilient, them um, having single mindedness, like we've already talked about, them having a um, an instinct and being willing to be coached and be coachable. All of those things make give women who have played sports a competitive edge. However, if you are here today and you have not played a sport a sport formally, but you do have some experience, then I want to teach you and we're talking about how those skills are transferable. And when you sit down to go into a meeting, a sale, a pitch, anything I want you to be wearing your sports bra as a battle cry because it is symbolic that one, that we've covered that success is a sport. And two, you come to do business in a way where you know that you have to value 
function over frill. So I don't know about you guys and how many of you have left your, um, gone, gone to the gym to work out and left your uh, regular bra at home, but it's a whole different, it's a whole different experience because you are not able to go out and have as, and do as much high impact things, right? Because it's not going to support you. So the number three, the number, the third reason why we all need to be doing business in our sports bra is because we can all use a little more support. Now you're here today in this Speak Black Woman community because it is a place where you are able to find your voice, foster that voice, and continue to get out there and, and speak up, right? So we have to put ourselves around the people, put ourselves around people who are going to help us get to the next level, who are going to help us succeed, who are going to help us to, who are going to help us take our, our, our lives and our leadership to the next level because it's not the 94% that really stood out in that statistic because only 6% of women are doing business at that level and less than 2% hit the $1 million mark in their business ever. So what does that mean? What does that mean for uh, for women in business, and why is it that we aren't? We are in the game. We have made strides and come so far, and have taken over in areas that we weren't allowed to, to to even play in before. But we're still not reaching our revenue goals and the goals that we want to um, set for ourselves. I believe it's because we are afraid of, and I'm going to say this. We are afraid of um, competition or we shy away from competition when competition is not a curse word. We need to surround ourselves with women, with other women who want to uh, raise, raise the bar in our lives and help us to live life at, in, at an elite level and play higher. And so a lot of times we shy away from being in groups of women and being around other people who will who will help us raise the bar. So again, we talked about the three reasons why women should do business in a sports bra. Number one, because success is a sport and you gotta get in the game. Number two, because you have to learn to value function over frill. And number three is because we can all use some more we can all use some more uh, support, okay? So the next time you have to make a sale, the next time you're in a situation that's calling you to play bigger, to stand out or stand in your rightful place, I want you to remember to do business in your sports bra. If you're going to, um, if you're going to rally with me on that battle cry, I want you to drop sports bra in the comments and um, you can follow me at, oops, sorry y'all. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Rashida McKenzie. I'm gonna drop that link in the um, comments now. But again, um, Again, anytime that you have to step in a room, the next time you got to make a sale or be in a situation that's calling you to play bigger, make sure you wear your sports bra. You can follow me on Facebook. Quinn will be back next week. Thank you for allowing me to be your host on this Speak Black Woman podcast. And I look forward to seeing you around these parts later on. All right, guys, have a great day.